You're a techie. You love STEM, math, robotics, or computers mixed with innovation. And that's why you want to go to Georgia Tech. But you have no idea how to write to Georgia Tech supplemental essay. Don't worry. I got your back. Hey everyone, I'm Jason Mattel, the founder of Transition, and we've helped thousands of students with college supplemental essays. And I'm looking forward to helping you. Before getting started, please press subscribe at the bottom to learn more about college and career topics. We cover everything from how to get an internship, to writing college essays, to succeeding in college. In this video, I cover what are the Georgia Tech prompts, how to write each prompt, best practices for the Georgia Tech supplemental essays, and example essays from successful Georgia Tech applicants. Let's get started. Located in the heart of Atlanta, Georgia, Georgia Tech is a well-known school for its engineering and computer science programs. Its admissions rate has decreased over the years, hitting around 23% in 2017 as it becomes more selective. As such, you need a great application to be considered for admission to Georgia Tech. While your academic success and extracurricular activities are all important aspects of the application process, Georgia Tech takes your essay responses seriously and treats them as an important way to get to know you and what you have to bring in Georgia Tech. Luckily, you don't need to be a future English major to create a personal and powerful essay. Georgia Tech takes both the Common App and the Coalition App. On top of the Common or Coalition App general essay, you are expected to write two short answer questions, one required and one from a selection of prompts. So this guide is going to go over how to write all the Georgia Tech supplemental essays to the best of your abilities. First, let's go over the Georgia Tech general essay guidelines. Each essay response is 250 words long, respectively. That translates to about two to three paragraphs in length. So you need to be economical with your words to make every single one count. That means there is no room for generalities. You need to be specific and get straight to the point. As you've seen with my other videos, focus is key. Every word should contribute to showing your personality and motivations, your ambitions, or your successes. You should focus on topics that you haven't covered elsewhere in your application. Georgia Tech wants the essay to bring out what they can't already figure out from your transcripts and club participation. Above all else, be authentic. Don't write what you think the admissions officers want to read. Be honest in your interests and your accomplishments and show Georgia Tech what you have to offer them. Now let's move on to supplemental prompt one, why this major at Georgia Tech. Why do you want to study your chosen major specifically at Georgia Tech? Maximum 250 words. The wording of this question is a little tricky. At first, it seems like it's asking why you've chosen your desired major. While this is a point you'll want to make in your essay, you need to keep it brief. The real answer Georgia Tech wants here is why you want to study your major at Georgia Tech specifically. It's more of a why this college essay than a why this major type of prompt. However, it's not just about why you love Georgia Tech. They want to know specifically why you love Georgia Tech's version of your major program. If you're planning to major in chemistry, did you choose Georgia Tech for their outstanding research opportunities? If you're going for engineering, is a school's best of the best reputation your main selling point? Think about why your field of study will be special at Georgia Tech and craft an essay around that. But you need to be specific. So it's always a good idea to show Georgia Tech what you're doing now and how that will carry over to your major program if you can squeeze that into the 250 word limit. The point is you want to do your research on both your story and on Georgia Tech. So Here's an example. Share a sentence or two about your research project that won the state science fair last spring. And explain how you're wanting to continue to challenge yourself through similar opportunities. Write a little bit about the club you founded in your high school and share that you want to take that same entrepreneurial spirit and begin your own business one day and state that Georgia Tech's hands-on business program will prepare you for that goal. You can approach this question in a few different ways, of course. The first way is to approach this from an academic perspective. Remember, they don't want you to tell them they're highly ranked in engineering and computer science. They already know that. They want you to be specific in your desire to earn a degree from Georgia Tech. What are the specific things at the school that you want to take advantage of? What are pieces of your major program that are unique specifically to Georgia Tech? So think of some proper nouns. How will these qualities benefit you directly? Look at some of the research happening at Georgia Tech. For instance, Georgia Tech is currently researching ways to improve worldwide sanitation by reinventing something that is used by every person multiple times per day, the toilet. They're aiming to create a toilet that turns human waste into clean water specifically for parts of the world that do not have access to adequate amounts of clean water or sanitation. If you're interested in new technology and how it can make a lasting difference in humanitarian issues around the world, this type of research may be why 
you're interested in attending Georgia Tech. Second, consider looking into faculty members and their research interests. If their research interests fall in line with what you plan on doing, mention them in your essay. You may even want to reach out to the professor, form a connection with that person, which could lead to future opportunities. Doing so shows Georgia Tech that you have both initiative and legitimate interest in the research that is happening at the school and that you're committed to learning from GT faculty. Third, study your major's plan at Georgia Tech and how it compares to programs at other colleges and universities. Are there any classes that are unique to Georgia Tech? Will your program have internships or other hands-on experiences? Figure out what makes your specific program unique at Georgia Tech and make a list of all the ways these differences will support you throughout your college journey and in your future career. After you show why your major at Georgia Tech stands out, make sure to demonstrate your ambitions or post-undergraduate plans. It's a good way to segue why and how you want to utilize your Georgia Tech education. It's important to know that you don't need to know exactly what you want to do with your life after college college because you're young. You might not know quite yet, and that's fine. Even if you do have a solid plan, it's highly possible that it will change as time goes by. It's generally changed for me. So with that said, you should have a general idea of the field you want to enter and, of course, an ambiguous idea of what you want to do afterward. This job or field should be closely related to the major you choose. Overall, you must demonstrate that you know about Georgia Tech's offerings within your major and have a vision for taking advantage of those elements. College is when students will utilize as many campus resources as possible to build a personalized education and to become successful professionals. Successful professionals will make their school look good. Schools want successful alumni. Thus, be specific about Georgia Tech's offerings that you want to become a part of. Here are a few more tips. If possible, try scheduling a campus tour and asking questions about various aspects you're interested in. A virtual campus tour is totally fine. Look at Georgia Tech's website and its various faculty directories for current research and campus events. For even more inspiration, check college forms, such as College Confidential or Reddit, to get perspective from current and former students. Once you've got all your information and inspiration gathered, you're ready to write. Okay, let's move on. Here's an example of a why this major at Georgia Tech essay. After my three-hour commute to Rutgers University, my advisors and I would huddle over a whiteboard, brainstorming mathematical models of pricing strategies. I spent the remainder of the day poring over my laptop, coding and debugging Python programs, translating these models into computational simulations. At the end of my two-year research project, I will determine the optimal pricing strategies for wireless service providers and publish a paper in the Gagers Conference. I intend to continue my passion for research by participating in ongoing projects at Georgia Tech's Institute for Robotics and Intelligent Machine. My primary interest is advancing robotically-assisted surgery technologies, giving patients access to the best medical minds. By working in the medical robots and human augmentation strategic research area and collaborating with professors like Jada Desai, I aim to provide struggling communities with the resources to utilize sophisticated robotics developments. I wish to further my passion for robotics by leading design teams on the Georgia Tech RoboJackets robotics team. Whether it's coding an autonomous robot to play soccer or creating powerful mechanisms to break robots, I believe the RoboJackets have a niche for me. My desire to join Georgia Tech was reinforced after speaking with Tomic Asas about the endless opportunities and possibilities on the RoboJackets. Diving deeper into robotics, I hope to enroll in the intelligence thread of the School of Computing to further my knowledge of autonomous machines and AI. I'm eager to enhance my computer science skills as a yellow jacket. Here's another example of the widest major essay at Georgia Tech. I heard my name spoken into the microphone and my teammates jumped from their seats. We had just taken first place in the New York State Science Fair with our insulin resistance research project. Our project had not only won, but it led to wide open pathways that could someday make a difference in the treatment of type 1 diabetes. I want to attend Georgia Tech because I know that the biomedical engineering program will provide me with access to similar experiences. Professors like Dr. He Chel Cho with the scholar status in pediatric bioengineering would give me the tools and knowledge necessary to make a true impact throughout my future career in the medical field. Georgia Tech will give me the specific courses, research opportunities, internships, and expert faculty members that I need to become one of the best in the field. With my passion for science and difference making, I know that Georgia Tech is the only place that will allow me to reach my full potential. All right, let's move on to supplemental essay two for Georgia Tech. More about you. For your second 250 word essay, you must choose one one of two prompts. Each prompt provides you with an opportunity to showcase an accomplishment or passion outside of an academic context. Because of this, it's important that you choose the essay that shares your best qualities or achievements. For both of these essays, you should focus on what makes you a unique asset for the Georgia Tech community. It's not so much about the why Georgia Tech wants you. Keep in mind also that your accomplishments don't have to be extraordinary. You don't have to cure cancer or end world hunger to be considered. Small differences you've made in a person's life or steps you've taken to change the world around you can create just as much of an effect. Here's Georgia Tech Prompt A. 
Georgia Tech is committed to creating solutions to some of the world's most pressing challenges. Tell us how you have improved or hope to improve the human condition in your community. This prompt asks what you have done or what you want to do to make a difference in your community. It's that simple. As shown in the question, you can take one of two paths when writing this essay. Explain something you've already done to make a difference in the lives of the people around you. This can be a large or small task. Maybe you're bilingual and you started an after-school tutoring club to provide direct support to younger kids who are learning English for the first time. Maybe you've gotten a group of friends together to make meals for the homeless population in your town. If you haven't had the chance to make a difference directly, or if you've got a bursting idea that you dream of bringing to life, pour it out on the page. Write about a problem you witnessed firsthand in your community and show how you want to solve. Remember to reflect on the impact this action had or will have on the community you live in. Think difference. Don't write about improving life in another country if you don't live there. This is about fixing the problems that occur on the same streets you grew up on. So here's some tips. Be sure to share a concrete plan if you're writing about a problem you hope to solve in the future. Be specific and really show how your skills can make a positive difference in your community. Keep the description of the issue brief. Georgia Tech wants to know about how you can solve this more than they want to hear about the problem at hand. When showcasing the skills you use to make a difference, also share what the experience taught you. You learn how much back-end work goes into solving a humanitarian issue. You gain leadership skills while providing guidance to a large group of students, especially younger ones who need guidance. You found independence and realize your actions can lead to significant change with an intense focus and the correct use of your personal skill set. While there are a lot of different ways to take on this essay, it may not be the ideal essay for every applicant. Make sure your action plan or actions themselves show off both your skill and desire to change the world around you. If this essay doesn't work, that's okay. We can move on to Georgia Tech Prompt B. If you feel that your personal or community background can provide additional insight to your application that we have not already seen elsewhere, please take this opportunity to share that information with us. This is a fairly vague prompt, but it provides you with an excellent open ended opportunity. It eliminates the problem that arises when applications only show their academic successes and lets you showcase anything you want the admissions team to see. Maybe you have a health condition that has motivated you to succeed in academics, so you can someday work toward finding a cure. Maybe you're a Lego expert and want to turn your design skills into a future engineering career. Take the first part of your essay to explain an important piece of who you are that is not shown elsewhere on your application. Make sure this characteristic or experience shows off why Georgia Tech is a perfect school for you and why you'd be a perfect fit for their community. Now, how can Georgia Tech benefit from the characteristic or experience that makes you stand out? Does Georgia Tech offer study abroad programs in a developing country you've always wanted to make a difference in? Are they currently conducting a long-term research study in an area that personally relates to you or someone close to you? Is there a club or organization that you'd be a perfect fit for? Or one that would give you the tools you need to make an impact and difference in the world around you? Be specific and show Georgia Tech something unique about yourself. Show them why why you need their school and why they need you as a student. Make sure to look through Georgia Tech's website to see if any of their core values, programs, or opportunities line up with a piece of your life that has not already been shown on your application. And don't look at the front page of the website. Really dig deep. Here's an example of this personal background essay. I moved to the United States when I was just six years old. I started first grade the following week without knowing a single word of English. I had an ESL teacher to meet with once a day and a computer program to teach me a whole new language. I couldn't make new friends because because I didn't know how to speak to them. I couldn't participate in class because I did not understand my teacher. Fast forward to my freshman year of high school. I'm now fluent in Spanish and English. I wake up one morning with an idea that I absolutely need to bring to life. I start a club for students in my local elementary school who are learning English as a second language. Fast forward to today. For the past three years, my club has met three times per week during lunch and recess. My students have had a safe space to share their challenges with translator apps, so they do not need to feel alone like I did. They have learned English quickly. They have made friends with each other and they have tripled the amount of English language learning time as was previously available. I know my club has made a difference in their lives and also in my own. I've gained independence and leadership skills and I now know that I'm capable of making a significant difference in the world around me. Here's another example of the same kind of essay. It's 5.50 a.m. on a Wednesday as I wake up with a shocking blast of a Mission Impossible theme song. It feels like I was up only a few hours ago, slogging through the assignments and projects that are due soon. I hop on the hour-long bus ride and try to get sleep to refresh myself for school. At school, I participate in classes, group projects, and labs, all of which have developed my critical thinking, communication, and collaborative skills. On the ride back home, I socialize with friends about the latest sports news and listen to music. After I arrive home, I play piano and get some physical activity to calm my nerves and collect myself. After an hour of playing piano,
piano and exercising. It's often volunteering at the Ivernus Hospital and then Ivernus Orchards. Volunteering has taught me that not everything is about my life. I want to help those who cannot help themselves. After returning home and eating dinner, I clean the dishes and kitchen to alleviate my parents' stress. Now comes a storm. I embark to complete math, physics, and biology projects and read up on literature and history. It's 11 p.m. and while my parents and sister have gone to sleep, I still have so much to do. After working until 1.15 a.m., I finish my assignments and hit my bed. Today was a short Groundhog Day. By the way, this essay is an example from two or three years ago when Georgia Tech asked you to describe your typical day. Again, get used to the writing style and see how a great Georgia Tech student writes. Georgia Tech essays will allow you to demonstrate why Georgia Tech is a perfect school for you, as well as why you're a student that Georgia Tech needs. Remember, these short answer responses give you a chance to communicate with Georgia Tech's admissions officers in a way that your testing scores and transcripts can't. Use that to your advantage. Overall, you will write two short essays. One will show your interest in a specific major at Georgia Tech, and the other is designed to show a side of you that your application may have missed. When you show Georgia Tech who you are and what you have to offer, you've got a much easier chance of getting in. So you have to structure these appropriately. And that's it for this video. I hope you learned a lot about how to structure and create incredible Georgia Tech supplemental essays. If you like this video, please press subscribe below and hit like. Now it's your turn. Tell me in the comments what you're having trouble with in the Georgia Tech supplemental essays. I will get back to you and give you advice. And check out our channel for more essay and college guides. Stay tuned for our next video and I'll see you in the comments. Take care guys.